Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I'm going to take a look at your situation with you and your person in mind. Remember that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with everybody. But you can always take a look at your other placements. You may find some messages there for you. And if you're interested in a reading much like this, I will leave all of that information in the description box below for you guys. So I see that there's a soulmate here. We have a soul connection, partnership, agreement, or soul contract. So I'm getting that there's um, something that, some disappointing news or you've been let down in some type of way, you're missing someone here, um, you're deeply hurt by it. There's been some form of deception here with the Moon card and the Seven of Swords. So I see that there's um, there's been, somebody hasn't been telling the whole entire truth. Or somebody has been wearing a mask and not showing exactly who they truly are before this could be lying cheating stealing um whatever it is in your situation you name it uh, but somebody hasn't been telling the whole exact truth here and wow and now i'm seeing that somebody wants to apologize for it um wants to come back around and make uh have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation about things and give an offer of love here so someone's missing you looking at your photos um nostalgic wanting to make new memories looking at old memories you two have also had so a lot of missing that's going on but it's happening in the dark it's happening in the secret and it's not um to the surface here so somebody has been kind of holding a mask as well when it comes to how they've been um really feeling and i see that for some of you there's a new person a new relationship or new love offer that is coming to your towards you so your person and their energy we have keys on a ring many options a decision unconventional string along one night stand so i see your person wow they want to they have made a decision here they have made a decision and I see this person wanting to um, talk to you. They have some really exciting news for you and this can come as a phone call word of mouth here because they feel they're having a huge rude awakening here because they really underestimated you and I see that they, they see you changing. And they see the whole situation changing due to a decision that they have made here. And I see them wanting to balance things out and wanting to uh, wanting to do things differently, change a situation here. So I see that they are definitely reaping their karma at this moment. And they feel a sense of destruction and chaos. So this person is really shocked by you and they're really shocked over... Um, I feel like some for someone out there, this person is shocked that you found out about something. But you're heartbroken and you're deeply hurt about this, um, about this decision that was made that was um, deceptive. And I see that right now you're closing up a chapter in your life. There's a completion that's going on here, and. I see you starting to feel motivated and gaining some energy and momentum towards uh, accepting a date or going out there because there's someone who is very, someone new who is starting to spark some interest in you and spark your feelings here. And I see that there is a, a new beginning for you guys. There's a chapter in your life that's coming to an end with your person here. And you're, there's a chapter that's ending when it comes to this heartbreak. There's It's coming to a completion. And there's a new opportunity for you guys. A, a new beginning. 
and I also see that somebody is wanting to apologize and let you know that they really miss you deeply here and you're kind of you're focused on you're focused on yourself right now you're focused on your work and making money so I see that you are kind of already looking into a new direction here but you're also missing this person and grieving them at the same time so you feel like something is coming to an end or there's a chapter that needs to come to an end or you're looking for some type of closure before you can move on to that next chapter in your life here so there is that completion that is coming in for you here and let's see what this soulmate is about what is this soulmate about that's coming up for you guys because we have a soulmate and we have heart with a key. Welcome, welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together and perfect. So I see you meeting the one, a soulmate here. Could be a Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. This is the energy that is showing up here. This is somebody who could be um, really good with money. This is someone who is trustworthy, reliable, Mr. Reliable or Miss Reliable. This is... Um, somebody who could be uh, good in, with investing or, or stocks or I'm hearing real estate, even um, banking. So there's this person that's coming into your life here, this soulmate connection. And it looks like it's getting very strong. And you guys could have taken a break before with this Four of Swords. You could have taken a break from this person in the past. And now this person sees an opportunity to come in. And they feel very strongly towards you. They feel like this person loves you with this Ten of Cups here very strongly. Um, and I definitely see this person wanting to have that happily ever after we, we have heart with the keys so you're meeting the one and you're getting together with this person i see you getting together with your soulmate here and having some form of agreement or a promise being made this is a, a commitment as well so this person wants to commit and wants to dedicate themselves to you and um I see that this is a, a really unbreakable connection. This is a soulmate connection. So you two have um, this these flowers that kind of connect you and this person together here. So spiritually speaking, in a sense, there is that soul tie between you guys. And it does look like this is a new this is a new chapter into your life here because you've dealt with a lot of karmic situations or karma and and tough lessons. But this is the be this is the start of um, this is the start of maintaining this this love and with this uh, sorry with this person this King of Pentacles here. So there's some really exciting news for you coming in with this Page of Wands, and this person wants to this person wants to fight for you, and this person is now starting to feel ready to take that leap of faith so i'm getting that in the past somebody has had to walk away from a situation or you're walking away from a situation where um, someone wasn't ready to commit and you're moving towards a new path a new beginning with i'm hearing this is someone you are already kind of know um this could be someone new or someone you already know that you never had like a really bad, you never had like a bad fallout. It was just like someone from the past that you never really like talked like that before. But now I see you guys coming together and then having that spark and realizing like, wow, this could be the one. There's something here and it's because it is a soulmate. But it requires um, someone to walk away from, some, from someone else or from something else here that has been very draining and has taken a lot of energy and effort to maintain uh, solid grounds and someone's just going for it taking a leap of faith uh, into the unknown and 
feeling like this is the one with the the one heart with with a key sorry i feel like i can't talk today guys <laughs> i'm sorry about that but with that in your outcome i am seeing there's some really really exciting news for you guys it could be this king of pentacles energy but um the other signs that i'm seeing here is uh, with the page of wands this is leo aries sagittarius and i do see libra pisces scorpio taurus leo aquarius okay so i'm gonna get some details for you guys details for Aquarius and we have a mature woman so an older woman or someone who is mature minded um, there's this person who was destined and meant to be meant to be in your life here um, there was a lesson that was meant to happen also and I see that you're starting to release yourself from something that has been holding you back and controlling you or you could be in a position where you have some type of control and I do see that there is a gift that is coming towards you here. So gifts in this King of Pentacles, this is something solid, um, materialistic. So it looks like it's like a solid gift coming from this uh, soulmate here. And I'm hearing that it could come in for your next birthday. And we have obstacles. So this is telling me that these, these obstacles that are starting to come to a completion, it's starting to be overcome and you're moving past this you're starting to move past this and there is this person who's really having a huge awakening about you and making a decision to to commit and see where things go because there is that spiritual connection that kind of holds you together somebody could have a, some type of spiritual gift here and so I'm going to get a few more cards for you guys before I close off this reading. Okay, let's take them. These ones just fell out. So look for a sign. No, a year from now. Recovery and not the right time. So I'm seeing that in the past here, something just it wasn't the right timing but someone's getting a lot of signs and synchronicities when it comes to you especially at night um it could be a car that someone is seeing i'm hearing some some type of car but there's a lot of signs that's coming in especially at night with the moon card here and your person is making a decision they're saying no to something and i see that a year from now there is uh, this person who is really going to bring in a lot of healing energy and it's somebody who's reliable and you can trust on that is going to help you two are going to help heal each other is what I'm hearing because um in the past it wasn't the right timing because there was some some karmic cycles and lessons that needed to come to an end first which that's usually how it goes when it comes with soulmates is that there are certain lessons that we need to learn before we can move on to a soulmate but it looks like you're starting to meet your soulmate sooner than later and a year from now I see you ending a chapter in your life and moving on to something big this is a huge achievement by the way so this is a, a this is like sex a success for you um after being heartbroken and and hurt so I, I love to see it because I feel like we all need some more success and achievements in our life and moving past those lessons so this is what i'm getting for you guys if you like this reading please comment like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be updated for future videos let me know if it resonated and i hope that you found some guidance or clarity in your situation and thank you for watching bye